Life on a ranch is not always pretty, and in this video, you are going to see some things that are not pretty. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't appreciate that sort of thing, now's your chance. Shut this one off. Go watch a different one. Uh, but for everybody else, let's go. Well, calving season is in full swing, and this morning we got problems. I had to run back home to get some supplies, so when we get back over here to the ranch, I'll show you what I'm dealing with. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Yesterday, about midday, when I was checking cows, I noticed that number 33 was possibly showing some signs like maybe she was going into labor. But when I came back in the evening, she was just up grazing like nothing going on at all, so I didn't really think too much of it. This morning, when I checked cows, same thing. She was just grazing with the herd, no big deal, but I decided, for whatever reason, to just go walk through them. And when I did, I noticed that there was a problem. First, I could see that she had a little bit of afterbirth hanging out of her, and upon closer inspection, I could see that she had a hoof sticking out of her. The strange thing, is that she's not laboring at all. She's up walking around. She was just up here at the feeder eating. She's not acting like she's in active labor, but the fact, the presence of a hoof sticking out of her would suggest otherwise. So I'm not sure what's going on if she was maybe working on it last night and just gave up because it's backwards or who knows what it could be. But what I do know is that when a cow has reached a stage of labor where she has a hoof sticking out of her and she's not laying down working on it, it's a problem. I've already got her caught. I'll be honest with you guys, this is really more about saving her. I will be completely shocked if that calf is still alive. I'm sure that it's not, uh, so don't get your hopes up, but we need to get it out of her. So that's what we're gonna try to do now. Just cannot get this air equipped set up fast enough. Holy smokes. She's just gonna do it. I better close this gate. Okay, go on. You know the way. You know the way. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Easy does it. Easy. Don't be thinking about that now. That's better. Might need to body squeeze her a little. She's not exactly cooperative, which I guess we can't blame her. I got the pipe behind her, so she cannot come back on me. I'm not real confident that this head catch has got her that good. One of the things I don't like about this shoot is that you just never can quite get it where you want it. You know, we need a little bit more hold on her neck, but it just won't do it. So anyway, we need to get down to business here. Something strong to pull against. Problem that hoof was folded back. Poor deer. All right. So, the thing to be real careful of 
when you got a pipe behind them like I've got, is if I've got my hands in her and she falls down, she could break my arm on that pipe. So I'm kind of always like ready to get out of here in a, in a hurry if I have to. Ooh, shiny. So again, you'll notice I'm not just cranking this thing right out of there. We want to pull on a downward trajectory, so that's why I'm kind of like taking the slack out and then standing on the rope. And we kind of just got to let her do it. Oh, shiny. So I'm sure it's hard to tell, but she is making a little bit of progress every time she pushes. Take a little more slack. So sometimes what can happen head gets pointed the wrong way so I just want to make sure the head is the right way. Come on honey. Well these are definitely front legs which is good. It's not backwards. Oh, Trying. It's not it's not going well. No, I just I don't know what I need. I need something. What? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yet. I should see a head. I should see a head and I don't. Come on, girl, I think we just gotta yank it. Sorry. up here. I think that head's not facing the right way. It can't be. Where is the 
the head on this thing. I just can't find it. Just throw it down, girl. Sorry. there. Don't stop now. What is going on here? I'm running out of cable. Push it! Push it! There! That was the problem. The head was backwards. Gosh darn it. Come on, girl. Don't stop. We're not done yet. Oh, oh you poor thing. You did it. Good job. I'm sorry about that, honey. Good Lord. That was tough. Thank goodness that's over. Jeez, that was probably one of the worst pulls I've ever had to do. And she's, as you can see, still down in the chute. I wouldn't, wouldn't honestly expect her to get right up after that. Um, I mean, I don't think we actually did any damage that would make it where she can't get up but I think she's just probably gonna take some time so we'll give it to her. Let's talk about what went wrong here why this was so difficult to do and the first thing is that the calf is is pretty decent size um, I wouldn't say it's so big that a cow that's several years old has had several calves couldn't deliver it but it's it's definitely a good size calf on top of that, one of the front feet was folded back. When I reached in initially, I could feel that immediately. And I got that straightened out and I thought that maybe we would have it then. Um, but as you guys saw, it, it pulled really hard. And at, at some point, I, I knew that something wasn't right, but I kept reaching in, trying to feel around and find the head. I couldn't find the head and you know, I just didn't really know what else to do at a certain point except just throttle down and, and get it out of her. Well, what ended up being the case was the calf's head was turned back, which I kind of suspected that as well, but it was still in the sack, and that's why I couldn't find it. I think if I would have been able to find that head and get it straightened out, maybe this would have went a little bit easier, but it's, uh, you know, what's done is done. Can I get up? Probably not so easy in that shoot, is it? I think you can do it. Well, it's been several minutes. She's still down. I think maybe part of the problem is because the head gate is closed. When, when cattle stand up, they stand up with their back end first. And in order to do that, they kind of have to like lunge forward. So I'm thinking that maybe the head gate is, is messing her up. This is yet another reason where I really wish I had the AeroQuip chute set up here because not only would it I would it give her more room to stand up because it's not a V shape like this chute, but there's also an emergency exit where you can just open the whole side of the chute and it's easier for the animal to get up and get out of there. So it doesn't do me any good right now because she's in this chute. Um, so I think what I will try is instead of trying to get her to stand up and go backwards, we'll just open the front, we'll let her out the front, even though this is not a secure area that she'll be going into, 
Um, my hope is that I can just kind of walk her around the barn and I've got the gate open into the big corral and, you know, I'm guessing she won't be moving too fast. So hopefully this will work. Good job, Mama. Good job. Yeah, you're out here in no man's land. Don't run away. Was this a good idea or a bad idea? I mean, she got up, so that part's good. Now I just got to get her back where she belongs. Here you go. You're kind of looking like you might be on the fight. No, I'll go that way. Get it. You could come into this gate if you wanted. That would also work. She seems more inclined to come this way, so we'll let her. One thing to be mindful of, especially after a traumatic event like that, is the animal can go what's known as on the fight, in which they basically attack you. So I've seen this happen a few times. It's not very common, but um, it's definitely something I wanna be, just by the way she's looking at me, I wanna be kinda careful about. One corner you haven't looked at yet, you might want to. Well, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you sticking with me. I know some of that stuff's really not easy to watch. It's not uh, especially pleasant to do either, but you know, in these kind of situations, you just kind of got to put that aside and, and do what needs to be done. And actually, for as bad as this was, it, it turned out probably about as good as I could hope. Um, I was pretty sure there, that the calf, you know, was already gone when we got working on the cow. So trying to save the calf really wasn't even on my radar. It's more trying to save her. And we did that. I was a little bit worried about how long she was laying down in the chute. Like maybe she cracked a pelvis or something like that but you saw once she got up she was able to walk easily no limping or anything like that so i'm i'm confident that no sort of injury like that happened i decided to go ahead and post this video because i feel that it is a good representation of what real life is like when you're raising livestock i think it's important to show the successes and the failures like today just to kind of give you guys an overall picture of what this is really like. And when I post a video like this, I know for sure in the comments there's going to be the why didn't you do this crowd? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And you know, hindsight's 2020. Now that we see the full story in its entirety, it's easy to go back and say, "Oh, well you should have done this, you should have done that." But in the moment you're just making decisions based off of the information that you have. And I feel pretty confident that with the information that I had, I made what I thought was the right decision. Sometimes things just aren't gonna work out the way that we want them to, and that's just the way it goes. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask why I didn't call a veterinarian. And the reason that I didn't do that is because we don't really have, this isn't a big livestock producing area. So, there are large animal vets that will come out, but they're far away. Um, so best case scenario, I might be able to get a vet out here like this evening, this afternoon, or maybe tomorrow. So in my opinion, it is better to just handle the problem 
instead of wait on somebody else to come do essentially what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm not trying to sound arrogant and I certainly don't know everything, but in this sort of a situation, I feel like I've dealt with this problem enough times to kind of know what to do. And, you know, it just kind of goes back to self-sufficiency and is it better to wait on someone else to come solve your problem or is it better to just solve your own problem? And I hope I'm not coming off as sounding defensive or negative about all of this, but I, I am just kind of anticipating the comments that are coming and trying to take a proactive approach to dealing with that. It does no use to dwell on the negative. I would rather focus on the positive, and that is that the cow was saved. So with all that being said, we're gonna celebrate the win which was saving number 33, and we're gonna learn from and move past the loss. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.